Good morning, New Eden. Today is March 24th, 2024, and this is the Federation Frontline Report. I'm your host, Frozen Fallout, and today we are hanging out with the epic, awesome Samson. How's it going, man? Good morning, New Eden. Things are doing fine in Samson land there, Frozen. Oh yeah, Samson land. What you been up to lately? <laughs> a lot of hell divers, actually. <laughs> um, and, and recently started streaming again, um, EVE Online, doing EVE uh, stuff. And if you're in chat now, you may have noticed that my name has changed from Strength in Samson. So that's maybe some foreshadowing. It's changed to Samson Space Pirate. The um, great rebranding. So I just, I'm... I will be exclusively streaming um, Eve um, going forward, I think. <clears throat> nice, nice. Yeah, looking forward to seeing more of uh, the great Samson out there with your comet, kicking ass, taking names, showing off your uh, solo gate camp. Solo uh... gate camping skills. <laughs> so, uh, gate yeah. camping s skills. Skills. <laughs> people, people have a lot of hate for gate camp gate campers and i'm 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 here for it yeah so um yeah, it's been a interesting uh weekend so far i got into uh quite a few fights um that uh really paid out in the, the kill board area which we're gonna do a review of the um galente kill board and kind of just uh dig a little bit into it and see what kind of action the galente have been up to as of late um but yeah, we got uh, we had the Spectre fleet uh, was fucking with goons on Tuesday, um, trying to destroy their Fortisar um, in Abazon, and uh, we had tie dye in Abazon. A little bit of tie dye <laughs> and uh, a lot of uh, um, Nados that were just insta popping shit and uh, and we, also being insta popped and being insta popped. <laughs> yes, for sure. Um, it was you got unlucky. It was a lot of murder to be had, but yeah, it was easy to get shot down in that. Hey, how's it going, Lucian? How, howdy, Lucian. How's it going? But, uh, but yeah, I got on like a shit ton of kills from that, um, and then uh, joined up with some Spectre fleets um, on like Friday, or not uh, Spectre, well, Spectre have been kind of, you know, been hitting up a lot of the Spectre fleets, which have been a lot of fun. Um, actually, there was uh, the um, Fleet Commander uh room that happened on saturday and uh oh, i'm ashamed i missed that that was that was a lot of fun uh just hanging out with all the fleet commanders kind of just flying around uh trying to see what we can catch out there with a small gang you know not not your normal you know specter fleet usually gets easily up into like the 15 20 30 50 people 100 people like 50s i think is pretty average for specter fleet yeah depending on you know the the time of day and, and what day it is what's going on but uh uh but there was just 10 of us just kind of went out and just had some fun in some blingy ships and um got a few kills and then we had um the specter fleet versus sedition uh battleship uh um, arranged battle that they had um, which was awesome and I had joined up with the Spectre fleet um, and I'm in Galente Militia so when you join up uh, you know with Spectre fleet you, you, you're you op open to shooting blues to a certain degree um, but I take huge standings hits that could get the corporation yeah. kicked out of uh, the Galente if, if that happened so I didn't know we were fighting Sedition so I'd bought up uh, quickly bought up a, a um, Soda man, thank you so much for the follow. Onzo, huh? And um, you related to Corvus by Corvus. any chance? Ooh, oh, oh, oh. They have the same <laughs> last name. I know, I know that's um, Squidist or something, but because mm. it's a common squid name, Onzo. But, yeah, so I didn't know Sedition was the one that was uh, coming to fight us in Battleship. I knew it was a arranged battle between another group and and Spectre Fleet. Um, and so as soon as I heard that it was sedition, I was like, shit, I can't participate <laughs> in this at all. So I was like about ready to like, you know, get rid of, uh, you know, just jump out and do something else. But then uh, they were like, well, sedition's outnumbered like insanely. They, they got like a hundred people, um, lots of people really excited about doing battleship fights. 
So they got like a hundred people and um, they were like, okay, we got to get rid of like 20 or 30 of you guys and have you go over to Sedition. And so I immediately just jumped over, jumped on Sedition comms and was got invited into the fleet. And I actually made it out with my battleship. Um, we, uh, I was able to survive nice. the whole fight. So got on a shit ton of kills there. Um, and just been there's been some really good fights with the squids in um, Hadeles and Fliet and Devon and Aboon. Um, lots of fighting that's happening over battlefields. Um, there was one. Yeah, we got we got we got we got wabbits now. We got but we got bunnies coming in too. Yeah, lots of bunnies in that area. Um, that they, actually, likes the militia, wabbits. militias. I just saw that the militia had won the insurgency. Um, so this oh, is yeah. another uh, cap or feather in our cap that we have of uh, defeating another um, insurgency. So they have frogs, changed up the frogs rules. Frogs win against the bunnies. Uh, I think it was mo mostly Keldari. I have to say, uh. to be honest, uh, because it was mostly in Keldari space. It did get over. This is a propaganda and station, and Frozen. Oh, How was, dare you? That's treason. If it wasn't that, for what the you just said was treason. <laughs> I'm calling in an, an eagle on you right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, yeah, absolutely. No, it was, it was the frogs. It was, all it, was, the, it was the Federation the for Federation democracy. The Federation did it for democracy to uh, prevent <laughs> the pirates. It was all all of our efforts. The um, pirates. It wasn't for us. The Kel Keldari didn't even do anything. They did nothing, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, the squids are I, lazy. I obviously. could be wrong. Actually, I, I think that it the the... I have to take that back. Take it. I don't think we've won quite yet. We've got the seven systems at level five that we need right now. I, I'm hearing more treason right now. <laughs> uh, but we will win. It's, um, so all we have to do is take down the Fortazar now. Um, so that or the uh, not Fortazar, whatever the the anchorage or whatever that they have. Um, oh, they're anchoring. Um... It's the, their the, station, the, basically. The FOB? The FOB, that's it, yes. Yeah. Forward fob. operational base. Um, yeah. So, yeah, it's going to be... Um, Forward operational buddies. Yes, yes, Lucian, FOB. Um, so, the, the FOB still needs to be taken down, but I, uh, they, the pirates, the Garistas, have to capture, like, seven more systems or something, because every time that they win an insurgency the amount of systems they have to take goes up, while ours doesn't. So once we hit seven, their fob is, is vulnerable, and now they need to take, like, seven more or something like that in order to uh, in order to match us. So um, we'll see how that goes. I'm, I'm excited to see maybe if I can get in on that fob fight. We'll see when, uh, when the timers are for that. Um, yeah, I'll try to get on that, too, because I've, I've been, been lagging here. Absolutely, so... But yeah, things have been uh, lots of fighting, lots of death and destruction. I think I'm um, at the highest amount of kills that I've ever had in one month, and the month isn't even over. Um, I just busted five thousand or five hundred kills for the month, and I just busted a ten thousand kills altogether. My my all career. over the Caldari's yeah. face, naked chest. So it was. Uh, it was quite a week for me. Um, had a lot of murder that needed to be done and got <clears throat> it done. So, this is what happens when I I take a week off. From yeah. Killing, man. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, you got to uh, kick up your numbers, man. You're, uh, you're lagging behind. You got a few, but uh, not enough this week. It's rookie sure. numbers. Rookie numbers for <laughs> sure. Um, so, do you want to go ahead and pull up the uh, Galente killboard, though? Let's do a little review here and see what what's going. How how are the Galente doing this uh, this week, and what's the top seven? Uh, sorry, the top ten for the different categories that we have. So, <clears throat> um, so just kind of Alrighty. looking at this here, we've got uh, what seven hundred and twenty-five characters that are either dying or. Uh, killing, you know, either the, some of them don't don't have kills, um, but uh, over 228 corporations that are participating with the Galente, 73 alliances, 246 different ships that have been used in this type uh, in this last week, um, over 267 systems that uh, fighting has happened for the Galente. Now, of course, this really is concentrated around, you know, Fliet. Hey, Dee Lee, Zaboon, Devon kind of areas where the main concentration of fighting is happening. 
um, due to enlistment, S NPSI, and a bunch of other things. There can be a lot of other fighting going on throughout the galaxy. Um, but uh, let's take a look at the, the top 10 here. So, um, Top characters? Yep, top characters. How about you take us through that? Well, let's see here. There's no surprise here. And this actually number went up by one while we were talking earlier. But Young Puke, uh, one of our, one of Seditions and, and Gal Mills' uh, top FCs at the top there, Young Puke to 257 kills. And, some and then next we have Sonic Mulder yeah. at 182 kills. Yeah. Lucian Lockhart in fourth place, <laughs> oh, 151. Lucian. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> fucking with you guys. But Lucian Lockhart is in fourth place. Frozen Fallout's in second place, 250 some... kills. You need to go out there right now, Frozen. <laughs> and we should be gate camping while we're doing the show, <laughs> just so that you can. All, all you need is eight kills, and you can be the top of the kill board. Like I'm not even joking. Can you just that's undock eight times, and <clears throat> I'll just kill you eight times? And... I mean, we could do that. Um, not Gwen, though. You can kill Hein. Or no, go. M. Uh, M. She's M, in a different she's corp. Not even in the Galente, so. Let's stack. Let, let's let, let's, uh, <laughs> let's patch your kill board right now. Uh, congrats, dude. Like, I, I think, I, I mean, because the week's not over either. We still have an hour. Oh, oh 40 for, minutes. Yeah, but uh, this goes off of, this ticks, like, every minute, basically, it, like increases and decreases yeah but when does the next happen. but when the the next day starts it doesn't um, doesn't change anything though no, necessarily true. because if if i had gotten a kill right <clears throat> now last week yeah yeah, yeah. it's it's it's, it's when it they drop definitely off. drop off yeah, yeah yeah so it's always one week as to where you are right now so i think we have a goal we, we should um, we uh we should uh, maybe um yeah we, we'll do we, you gotta get there you gotta get out there but yeah, anyways, well, I was, second I place was number one for like the last three days or so like pixar trying, didn't happen <laughs> trying to pick, pick pixar didn't happen <laughs> i'll mm. take a screenshot next time no congrats dude it's been a while um and, and you're up there you got a lot of fucking crazy shit going on sonic Mulder in third place with 182 lucian lockard 151 congrats lucian that's awesome saparo ichiban 145 <laughs> kills Alexander Blessed, 143. Wow, these guys are all right next to each other. Gordon Gecko, 142. Hayton U 2 Shout out to him. He's he's in the Notoros Cantina. 126 kills. Juyu Juyu, 118 kills. And Honorant Lafis, uh, 114. Uh, he flies through my game a lot. There. Rounding off the top ten. Yeah, we got, oh yeah, uh, they are frozen. See him what do we got there now in top corporations? There, so frozen. Jerkosaurus Rex Incorporated. Uh, you know, kicking ass, taking names. Of course, uh, that is uh, part of Sedition um, and uh, Young Pukes group here. Um, Eight hundred forty-five kills that they have. They're like just dom like twice as many kills as pretty much any other corporation in Galente right now. Um, we have the Frog Pond, um, rounding out level, or uh, rank number two, second in uh, the top ten here, 423 kills. We have Handsome Millionaire Playboys, I like that name, I like that name. They're very handsome, they're millionaires apparently, Playboys. Um, you know, I don't know how many Playboys actually play Eve, though, so... <laughs> um, does well, does uh, does Mitten still play, or is he just no, like... No, not that I know of. <laughs> okay, so yeah, he was the only Playboy, right? <laughs> <clears throat> um, and, uh, and then some other stupid group, you know, kind of came in in fourth place there. The Federation <laughs> Frontline Report is on the top corporations for Gal Mill, and it's all frozen. Well... Not all. most no. mostly actually Corbon's been doing a lot of killing lately I that's right him. we brought him back into we brought them back into uh the fold they're in fflr now yeah they are in F they were in federation frontline but now they're in fflr um and uh yeah come at 265 kills there uh yeah us, so that's which... like like quite a bit then wow yeah no and if we if we would have had you murdering we might have got into like the top step you know it's got like second place i could see so hey uh sun Zoom you mean Lee. first place because i'm gonna do 500 kills in one week fuck yeah man and well i mean <coughs> I some don't... of ours might match each other 
<laughs> no, what, 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 what it, it, it's no, but it, it doesn't ever cease to amaze me that we, you know, are like two or three active players are almost always on the top kill board. That's in some murderers, capacity, man. We are fucking murderers. <clears throat> like that's what I. Do. I mean, that's I, all that I do in this game. I've got the like, only time that I'm like you. Like the only time that I'm not is when I'm not playing. It's like up against. So like if I don't play, there's then I'm two out there. main things I do in Eve. I PVP, and I haul shit to the the front line or to so Amazon so so that I can PVP. I haven't even gone into the. Well, I guess a little bit. I bought some blueprints recently and built some ships in uh, in Hey Dealies, uh, but I haven't really even been spending my, my LP. I think I'm at like 13 million uh, LP for the Galente That's right nuts. now. That's nuts. I think I have like three or four million too now. I need to I need to start doing because like I can totally just like make a ton of you know ships. Uh, uh, what's it called? The Comet, the Cat Navy and the um e and i like just really mass produce ship. those yeah. and then just fucking and and take them out you know in fleets and just go crazy with them yeah no that's i tried what I, plan on I tried them. selling them i tried selling them i tried i tried make i made like 30 or 40 e and i's or whatever and i tried to sell them you know what happened nobody bought them it was december of last year that's what happened I was selling them locally in in Haid, in in the HQ. Oh, HQ. so did they all get? Uh, did they drop, or were you able to yank them off the market before they dropped? Because I think um, anything on the market dropped. I think, actually, no. I take that. I no, no, no. I take that back. I think I did sell them. I, I sold them, but then, but then, the, but then the market got blown up immediately yep. afterwards. So I didn't lose anything, but like. I, I, I can't, you know, go to the awesome market next door now and just sell. I guess I can use use the NPC station. The NPC station has been really good, actually. It's been stocked pretty well. Um, it's actually one of the things that I've been doing is kind so, of moving away from trying to do uh, building up in Yvanger now and building up more in Hey Dealies because hey. it's the NPC station now. Because I don't trust. I really don't trust and I don't like using player-owned structures. Yeah, not even just, our own. Especially yeah. not our own, because <laughs> ours get blown up <laughs> all so, the fucking so time. Uh, <laughs> I miss the Tauros, though, Frozen. I gotta admit, I do, I do miss it. I, I, miss I visited Tauros. every... So I have a, I do every stream. Um, I have a tradition now that every stream that I do, I go. I have to visit the Tauros at least once. And every fleet that I do out of Yvangir, I visit the Tauros. So... Um, and then eventually, you know, we'll go back. And, and every time I go in there, I have, I have to have to um, salute um, Mr. Monopoly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I miss hanging out with that guy. We've That needs to be like... We should get him back on the show again. Yeah, we should. We should totally invite him back on. Um, but yeah, so um, I've been just buying... Like, you can easily put up sell orders to buy all the minerals and all the, the items that you need in order to build your faction ships. You haven't got the minerals. Um, and uh, so it's been like really nice being able to build up a little stock of uh, ships. Then I should probably start doing that. I can start... Because I can, I can stock the ships for fleets and then also sell, you know, the excess. Yep, and you could Next also, door. when you're stocking up for fleets, you can just sell those as um, contracts. And so instead of uh, just, you know, sometimes we we love to give away shit yeah, so that put, we can put, just put go up, get murdered. But uh, Yeah, just start put, putting them up on contract because I know, like, so, but then it could be an option, too, because I know um, a lot of players, you give them an option, a lot a lot of the guys that fly with us, especially, and um, especially for the, new, new, the, the, the newer uh, players in our fleets, free ship, go for it. Right, but absolutely. it's basically like I feel. I feel like it's it's how Spectre Fleet works with SRP. I don't ever request SRP I, because I'm an FC, but I can. I, I can totally request for, SRP for SRP for for Fleet Commander. You have a higher level cap on the ship that you can take out. You yeah, but but I don't. I don't because because I would rather that go towards helping more people PVP in NPSI. Right, and also um, you help and, out our paychecks, you know, when we get paid yeah, we get both, we get we do get paid um, a little bit. Uh, it's it's more than enough if you just want your own cheap PVP ships, though. So yeah. like, but but that's a, that's the other reason too. Like I don't I don't ever like I think 
I think I was in your fleet last year, Spectre fleet last, and, and I lost my, my Bifrost almost immediately. We killed something, but I, I lost a Bifrost immediately, like, so I'll SRP that. I was like, I don't want your charity frozen. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. It, it was worth, like, the I entire fleet. I was like, I don't want your fucking charity. <laughs> yeah, because we do It's like, yeah. bring one expensive ship that's worth more than the entire fleet. <laughs> and I, I fucked up. Because, I mean, we got it. We killed, We got the kill. It was a Scythe fleet issue, I think. Or no, a Stabber fleet. It was a Stabber fleet issue that was a big mistake on my part there's no way i was going to be able to hold a stabber fleet issue but i mean well, we did i, I did it, though. without dying without dying yeah we i did, did kill it, it though so enough to enough to get us in there but yeah that stabber yeah. fleet issues are but uh we nasty. were we were you were doing the top corporations and, yes, and we so got off we are a little bit a little bit of a tangent we are at um so fifth place. i think you're by the way frozen you're clipping a little bit i think because you're getting really loud oh am i okay I yeah know. I do have it for the the stream. I am actually quieter than what you would hear, like half as quiet. Yeah, I know. But when you, you when you when you when you talk, I hear like you you know how it sounds when it starts to crack. Yeah. Like when you peek well, on the that's audio, that's what I'm hearing on on the stream. But yeah, if anybody's listening, okay. you know, let me know. Yeah, if I am no. cracking. Um, but I shouldn't be reaching. I mean, you're cracking, levels, but but always cracking. <laughs> I'm always cracked. So Los Valentos so uh, Valentos D Kenny. Um, at 263. And that's all, that's all, um, Killer Rasta. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's all Killer Rasta. <laughs> Killer Rasta is badass. Killer Rasta is Los Violentos de Kenny. And, uh, then we've got, did he say jump? Um, very. Fuck, I very jumped. Very God damn it. Now, why did you say that? Um, you, you fucking said it. It wasn't me. I don't know. Why'd you put it on the screen? For you me said, did, it? you said jump. <laughs> no, I'm not saying jump. Uh, did he did he say jump? I said I said did he say jump? I didn't say jump. No, I, all I heard was jump, Frozen. That's <laughs> all, that all I heard. Um, we've got them at uh, 260 at sixth place. Um, Fleet Pizza Delivery, 254 kills, seventh place. I want to know if they have vegan options now because of my lactose intolerance. I you know I, I haven't ordered from them in a long time. I just want to mm. you know. Wonder what kind you know, of good pizzas, you know, I got to deliver, get some delivered to Fliet again. And uh, I feel like they, they have to have something like Michelangelo specials. What is it like, like marshmallows and peanut butter or whatever fucking ooh, Ninja Turtle styles. There we go. I like that. Anchovies, <laughs> lots of anchovies. Oh, hell yeah. All the anchovies. <laughs> uh, Dirt and Glitter, which used to be a Mimitar organization. Um, can you click into them real quick? I just want to see. Yeah, they're the ones, they're the ones that uh, have the salt lady. I thought. Oh, they're part of sedition no? now. They're part of sedition. No, dirt and glitter. That's the, uh, I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of the other. I'm thinking. Dirt of the, and glitter did at uh, one people. point. I know that they were like Mimitar. Uh, um, yeah, the, the name sounds very familiar. But yeah, they must have moved to set it. Yeah, they must have. Yes. Um, not sure when that happened, but they're there now, and I don't think that they've been making the top ten when we've been talking. Amar. Ah, no. Okay, so they were Amar. That's what it was. I knew it was the Mimitar War Zone, but uh, Lucian, thanks for the help there. Ah, uh, uh, and uh, so they've come got in. Lucian's our boots on the ground <clears throat> reporter here. Eighth place, two hundred and twenty-three kills. Federation Defense Union, which is the NPC organization that anybody that has enough standings with the Galente um, could join. Um, coming out on. So mostly enlistment. Most well, that is the no, no enlistment's theme. not. That's not enlistment. That's different. That's yeah, this is yeah. yeah sorry, this, this is what happens. So it's enlistment though. before enlistment. <laughs> if, you, if you try and enlist and you're a part of an NPC corporation and you try doing enlistment, you won't stay in the NPC corporation. That's the standard NPC corporation and become enlisted. You they switch you over to the federation. Okay, so that's team. yeah. So but enlist so enlistment would just be for player owned corporations, right? And then, of course, the Epic Frog Team 4, rounding out 10th place here for our top 10 at 191 kills. So, uh, what, what do we got for the top 10 alliances? Who's been uh, kicking ass and taking so, to the Galente? So, the, the top 10 alliances, is no surprise here, in first place, Sedition, 1,181 kills. Impressive. And Twice as many that, that, kills that's... as anybody else. More than yeah, almost more yeah. No, actually, that that's well very close to being three times, uh, 
the top. It's three, uh, three times, very, very close. Ribbit in second place with 423. Of Essence, uh, third place with 408. And the good old Federation front line with six, 265 kills. Um, pretty close to Dock Workers coming up next with uh, 260. Wrecking Machine, 107. Pandemic Horde, fucking enlistees, 91. Pirate Lords of War, 85. I guess more enlistment there. Uh, Dead Pixels Inc. 84 because Plow is is Plow. Yeah, Plow is Plow. No, <laughs> uh, no, and no, White no. Squall rounding out the top ten with 83 kills. Everybody in the bottom here with uh, Plow, Dead Pixels, and White Squall are all very close. Yeah, no, they're uh, what, 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 heated what, competition what, there. What, what, wow, what are we flying? What are they what, flying? What are, we, what are flying? we flying? We oh, are please. flying apparently the <clears throat> comet fucking. Federation Navy Comet. The Fed Mother, Navy Comet. The God damn, Fed yeah. Fed Navy Comet. Freedom. Is, is... You know what the Fed Navy Comet represents? Freedom. I know I always wear the Popo skin, but freedom, yeah. I'm surprised, I'm actually. Cops. That's that's higher on the board than it normally is. Um, yeah, and, 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 yeah. Comet, fuck yeah, says Lucian. I agree, <laughs> it's, it's a It's, it's a great it's a ship. Great ship. Um, you can... <clears throat> fit it for really great solo um you can have it be okay for some fleet uh fighting and stuff like that like being tackle and stuff yeah it like is that. a it's solo really it is a beast a solo beast. beast solo though um and then of course we've got the exger navy issue um at 416 kills um coming in second here which of course even with the nerf um to damage that it took um it is still one of the best pvp ships out there um can get some good range on it with rails yeah, exact can get navy. massive massive <clears throat> yeah. amount of damage with the exec navy if you're doing blaster fit dude um, i did that one I, I did that one stream with uh it was an old wolfhound from from our network days back you know back in the day when, when we was with the network and it was the eni fit the dual prop blaster like 1000 uh dps eni and uh i went into tama and I saw a rapier with a Sino up, <laughs> and and I, I I was like I was on stream. I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna do it. And I flew over there and I, I killed it. And then Snuff undocked like I don't know six blops and killed me <laughs> while I was killing the rapier. But you got the rapier, right? Oh yeah, absolutely got go. the fucking rapier. Well it's a big, it good good trade for Easy for trade. A, like an eight, 80, 90 mil ship for like a. 300 mil ship yeah no absolutely um and then we've got the catalyst navy issue um with 249 kills um the cyclone fleet issue which is what i've been seeing um you know sedition has been flying these quite a bit for their uh battlefield um comp and it's it's really nice it does I wonder how close they are not not to i know we signed ndas and shit but uh, i wonder how close that fit is to uh um Net, the network's uh, cyclone fleet. I think it's pretty similar, um, and uh, it's. I mean, it's just a great long range, medium range uh, kind of damage. You know, massive amount of alpha that comes from those um, missiles. They're, the time delay kind of sucks um, on how long it takes. It, and so you yeah, do some damage and stuff like that with missiles with big fleets like that. Um, but the, also the time delay is something that catches people off guard, right? Yes. Like when 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 you hit when the box turns red and you're like, no, I'm fine, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> you know, like like ten thousand damage hits you at once. <laughs> oh, I guess I should have broadcasted. Oh well. Yeah, that's over with. <clears throat> um, and then we've got the Osprey Navy issue, which actually is not something that we see uh, very high for the Galente usually. Um, and also not as much even lately, like with, with you know, on, on the squid side. I haven't seen it as much as no, it used to. No, that's interesting. Yeah, it is, the Osprey Navy issue did take a hit to its uh, rapid light missile launcher bonuses, the range bonuses. That's what it was. That's right. Um, or that's the missile speed or whatever bonuses that it had so it was it was a real crazy freak long range freak killer and now that's kind of calmed down quite a bit um we've got the imperial navy slicer um at 155 kills 
And that kind of rounds it up. Besides, the ones that I skipped are all NPCs. Um, yeah. So these NPCs did have to be joined with a, a player to get these kills. That, um, even if they soloed somebody, which is extremely difficult for these NPCs to do. Um, yeah, they I, would I show did, that's, here that's like a one in a hundred thousand chance or something that they <laughs> could solo. But like, um, yeah, so those don't, those don't, I mean, those don't really count because like you said, it's it would have been like the, those 150 cruisers that's you know spread amongst all the other ships there that actually got the kills you know yes npcs are fucking kill mail whores man they are <laughs> yeah, all yeah, about just, whoring on that just kill whoring mail. on kill mails <laughs> man uh so why don't you take us through what are the top 10 systems that the Glente are fighting in today so we have here the top 10 systems. Again, no surprise. Hey, die less. Hey, Dealies, 904 kills. That is um, kind of, you know, it's, a, it's, 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 a, it's where a lot of Gal Mill is based. And it's a frontline um, system now. Um, and it's a frontline. So... It's one of the, it's one of the, mo, mo, the it's a, yeah, right now the front line is, is uh, um, really, um, like that's making a huge, I would say, a huge difference there. And then, of course, right next door, uh, Fleet with 560 kills, and then a little further down the line, 528 kills at Devon. And uh, the other way uh, from Hey Dealies uh, is 181 kills. That's boom. That's towards uh, uh, the, the good old crown jewel of Black Rise in the Taurus. Uh, Frary. 144 kills. Abazon, 135 kills. That's all frozen. No, that's no, all no. Frozen. that would be all frozen or or near all frozen. Oh no, but but, but we had the thing we had the battleship there. fleet uh, that actually would probably I think that was like fifty or so of those kills come from that Amazon BS battle that happened. Like at least there was. A then the lot rest is all movement. frozen on a gate camp. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I've been. Uh, yeah, I mean they do their morning gate camps on the weekends. That's been easier for me to get into. Um, I didn't join up with this morning's one, um, and Saturday we did the uh, Fleet Command fleet instead of the the standard one. So, Caroline Lutz, how's it going? Um, so yeah, and then uh, what? Ugalis, 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 122 kills. Odo with 112. Nagamanin, which 97, which is also close to that whole area up there. Fleet at Devon, Hades. Uh, and Abinal with rounding out the top 10 with 80 kills. Yeah, you can see that the Hakoda Gate has 134 kills. Yeah, <laughs> to, right to, look, look, you see this? That's 135 <laughs> in Amazon and 134 I, I on I the. I that, told you. That missing this is one? all frozen. Well, okay, so the fight did happen like on the you, gate. On the gate, technically. Uh, like, it was on the, okay. the Fortisar. Um, oh, did Vir did Vir do another? This is just a normal gate camp. There's nothing mm -hmm. else going on. This is just a regular <laughs> gate camp where we're all in battleships. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were all we all met up on the Fortizar, but the Fortizar is so close to the gate that that's the yeah. celestial object that it'll say that it happened on. Uh, but I know where that one kill came from, and that was uh, I think that was a Raven or something, a Raven Navy issue. I think that came in through um, uh, so, the other gate, Sed or Sita or whatever. Yeah. Uh, and we're not going to find it. <laughs> we have to. Do no, it. I know, I know, but... I know the name. Uh, Shara, Shara, Shara. That's it. Yes, Shara. So, and we worked I, over there. Exactly too, when I'm day. when I'm hosting, when I when I'm FCing, I was like, well, who do I? I need to get eyes in Hakot. I have eyes in Hakot. I need to get eyes in. What's the other one? Shara. Shara. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's. Uh, it, I mean, the one thing that I like about the Galente is even though there is murder that's happening elsewhere in 0, 0.0 and stuff, you definitely. These are the systems to hit up. And I mean, the top four systems are really. That's where the fucking fighting is happening right now for the Galente. Um, so get to Hey Dealies. Hey, die less. Try and follow it, but don't, uh, don't listen too much to the name. Just go out and die, murder, kill. Do what you can. Murder, death, kill. And, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's so much fighting that's happening. You just undock, and there's just tons of targets out there, uh, fleets to join up with every day. Um, and, yeah, it's it's been a blast. I, I'm looking forward to doing more murder every day here, so. B-T-A-S-Q, how's it going? 
BT. I'm just gonna call you BT Dubs. BT Dubs. BT Task. <laughs> BT Task. BT Task. BT Task. Um, but yeah, so we are uh, having lots of fun out in Faction Warfare space. Um, loving this map that we have, and why doesn't CCP make this map for the entirety of Eve? It would look so cool. The the pirate map look like uh, we get this the, the Faction Warfare map here. So. Uh, yeah, the pirate map is terrible. The pirate map is, like, one of the worst. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's, it's worse <laughs> than anything out, else out that they put out there. Yeah, yeah I'm very un, uh, unhappy about that. So, um, Oh, uh, BT Dub says that they're uh, getting back into to the game slowly. Welcome back to EVE. Um, and... Should just jump into the deep end. And actually, I wouldn't necessarily consider Faction Warfare the deep end. But yeah, faction warfare, especially. I, I say that faction Galente. warfare for the Galente is hardcore mode, like hard. It yeah, for the Galente, the I get, yeah, it is the hardest one because we uh, we are our numbers are small. But that's why, that's what we got people like us where each of us are killing hundred hundreds of uh, 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 squids. You know, true. Yep. Month. I mean, we don't have access to Jitta, but I also don't recommend anybody that's in faction warfare to use Jitta, even if they are Kaldari, because don't no, don't use it. Yeah, don't dangerous. use any in faction warfare. Do not try to transport with your main that is, or with your character that is in faction warfare to any trade hub, because there are people that sit outside the trade hub that will shoot you. And that's what they do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Blow up your the, stuff. the design is to because it's a free kill. Like yep. it's it's free. Concord's not going to shoot them. So, so yeah, I don't recommend. It. Always, always have an alt for that. Like, that's a, that's like I think that's that that should be like an Eve saying. Like, there's an alt for that. Who else got a notification that some random character delivered a catalyst to some wormhole fortazar owned by a two character corporation Galmil FW yesterday? I did not. I. Uh... <clears throat> That was I'm an interesting a statement. A wormhole, that, or wormhole Fortizar, owned by some dudes in the Galente, huh? Eh? I'm sure that that, that happens. Uh, there are definitely wormhole. You did, hey? <laughs> he said, this guy. From D.E.D. <laughs> D.E.D., well, that's, that's, uh, that's NPC. Interesting. That's weird. That's, a, that's an odd one. I should probably log into the game at some point. I haven't logged in. Yeah, in maybe week. you'll have a notification as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, that rounds out the uh, kill board that we're going to kind of look at today. We're just kind of being a little bit more lax today. Kind of want to look at the kill board. Talk about how, you know, things are really... The front lines are right on the front door of uh, the Galente right now. We've only got 15 systems ccp i think does need to make something that having more systems matters to a certain degree um i don't want it to be too powerful of a thing but yeah i don't want to do you want to swing it to the point where like now we're just fucked because we have the smallest faction but yeah yep um but yeah and we also have uh upcoming though is on may the 4th may the 4th be with us with this event that we're throwing is eve mad town um, we're really excited to uh, hang out with people. We've got a cool ass pins for everybody who comes. Um, we're gonna have some tournaments, um, well, some prizes. Too, and... I'm too small. You're too small. <clears throat> well, we could change that. We can change that. So let's do this. Let's make While you, you do that, big. I'll try to Look I'll try that. to figure out now how to get this big. Yes, uh, uh, my big rally. You know, cry uh, to Evan or to Eve CCP devs is that um, they change up the LP store. There needs to be a rebalancing of the LP store. The Galente LP is just not worth it. Um, and uh, comparatively, to my... especially to the pirates. Pirates just smash. Uh, they're like three times. Ooh, there we go. Oh, 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 oh there it is. Don't fucking I move. I Look got how it. beautiful I that got looks. It. That is I can't sexy. Move. I can't move. <laughs> Uh, that is yeah. awesome. But yeah, uh, so we're giving out these pins to everybody who come. We'll, we'll be also planning on going to Vegas um, to, you know, people that hang out with us. Um, yeah, autofocus is a bitch on most cameras. Um, yeah, for something that close, yeah. But I talked about, I think maybe was it a couple episodes ago that uh, 
we might we were thinking about a Soul Caliber tournament, but there's no longer Soul Caliber. Yeah, they took away sad. from IO. They they it was. You know, do you have the do you have do you want to put the um, the banner or the, oh yeah, we could do that. Uh, <clears throat> the flyer up. Eve Madtown meet up here. So this is uh, Eve and meanwhile, Madtown meet up. Well, have your attention. <laughs> Saturday, May 4th, 2024, 5 p.m. to midnight. We're going to be hanging out at the IO Arcade Bar. It is a 21 and above event. Um, we're going to be running some tournaments, and then we've got the hands of uh, Samson that is uh, cuddling with the, the banner here. Uh, but, yeah, IO Arcade Bar is a lot of fun, um, and we're looking forward to just kind of hanging out with people, shooting the shit, having fun, playing video games, and talking about EVE Online, so... Yeah, anything else that we want to talk about before we wrap things on up here? I mean, yeah, I'm I looking I'm looking forward to um, Madtown meetup, and we got those pins, and, <clears throat> um, and my big face is back on the channel again, oh, yeah. so I'm just going to get right up in here. Let's uh, put it back mm. so it's, you know, a little bit evener. There we go, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, can, I can turn this off, too. There we go. There now our sexy but, faces uh, are even. But yeah, um, I look forward to the Mad Town meetup. Um, this will be the second time that we've done it, and um, it's a lot of fun. You get to meet people and hang out, and we, like, and there's there's actually not as much Eve talk as you would think. We're mostly playing uh, games and drinking, and eating good food. I'm gonna. I'm gonna fuck up some pinball machines, man. Oh get yeah, there. there's, a, there's such a good pinball selection. Um, and, yeah, there's like uh, 15 or something like that, like <laughs> pinball machines, 14 of them or something. It's like a, just a whole area that's dedicated to. Yeah, I, lo I love pinball. I grew up on pinball, but uh, but you know, um, yeah. And then like you said, E Vegas. Looking forward to that. Um, and looking forward to streaming more um eve online and uh i don't know maybe maybe something's maybe something's coming maybe maybe there's a youtube channel that might be in the mix here we'll, we'll see yeah i'm looking forward to uh some of the guides and ideas that you had for uh putting up a cool youtube channel there so uh yeah i'm looking forward to learning about eve and uh helping <laughs> you build videos to teach people about eve so uh, but yeah, I think goes. we'll wrap things on up here. It's a little bit of a shorter episode that we're having here, but uh, lots of good things in the works. Um, we're still on season two, technically. <laughs> I no. think there's some changes that we that I still want to make. We should raid somebody. We got 17 people watching. We do. We do have a solid amount. What? Let's take a look, see who who's out there for raiding. Any? Oh, Mr. Unlucky. He's usually got a lot of cool PvP kind of going. Yeah, on. go for it. Let's. Uh, Get that Let's start up. that on up. Thank you all for watching and have a great day. Have a good night, New Eden. <laughs>